everybody, I'm Hoarder Gamer, and today I'm going to be reviewing Venom Issue 1 by Donny Cates, and I believe it's Ryan Stegman. Wow. Um, Venom's been around a long time, and I think this is the first time the book has been made into a horror title, and it's really good. It's very intense. We start looking at the whole idea of the relationship between Eddie Brock and Venom. And for once, we get the idea now that Eddie is actually frightened of his other. And he has a nightmare, which he hasn't really had before. And I will warn you right now with this review, there's almost no way to avoid spoiling this book because something happens in like the first or second page and you're like, okay, that's insane. And one of the most wonderful visuals in the book is at the very end. So I will warn you, spoilers will be coming up. Okay. So basically, Eddie is uh, mostly in control of Venom, you know, <laughs> mostly. There's an awesome scene where uh, some police officers up, up here and... Um, well, Venom goes a little bit haywire, some red outlines and such, and nearly kills the police officers, which as you know, Venom is lethal protector. He's not really an uh, insane murderer. That's more Carnage's deal. So this kind of freaks him out and everything. And around the same time, a Vietnam vet approaches Eddie and tells him that there was an experiment to fuse soldiers with Venom, or not, not Venom itself, but the symbiotes, all the way back in Vietnam. As you might guess, that experiment didn't go well. And uh, just about everyone that was in it went crazy. So that's some pretty interesting information and a pretty wild connection there to make. Now we're going to go to, like, to the first or second page of the book. Let's say hundreds of years ago, okay, soldiers, a drawbridge, a terrible, like, weird-looking, venom-like creatures, but with those red outlines again, okay? And one of the soldiers screams, get Beowulf. Now, what this could mean is that Venom itself is Grendel. The Grendel, from the epic poem of Beowulf, which is insane if that's what it is. Okay? Now, the Clintar, that's actually the kind of species that Venom is, basically came, it was thought to have come from another planet, and, you know, basically the whole thing with Peter Parker and that Venom and all that, you know, okay, all that. But it could be now that the Clintar have been here for hundreds, if not thousands of years, and somehow fused with this Grendel creature if it was already here. So it could be Venom could be the offspring of Grendel, almost like its child or something. It's, it's hard to say. We don't know. This is just issue one. But issue one ends with this awesome scene of this, like, this red dragon-like thing tearing out of the ground and flying into the sky. Again, I wish it was easier to avoid spoilers here, but uh, that's definitely why I wanted to warn you guys about the spoilers. And um, I will definitely have a little uh, thing about spoilers um, for this video. So, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I apologize. I'm trying something a little bit different here. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend Venom 1. Uh, Venom 1, I give a 9. It's great. It's, um, the artwork is gorgeous. Ryan Stegman's pencils are fantastic. Donny Cates has a lot of clever ideas. And, um, I've been a fan of his, especially when it has to do with horror, with a book called Baby Teeth, which I've reviewed in the past. And, um, he's great at horror. He's great at a lot of things. Uh, he also did recently a Thanos series called Thanos Wins, which I believe was issues 12 through 18, I believe. And there's a trade that's going to be coming out in, 
I want to say June or July for that. Um, there's the first two trades are out, but that's not his story arc. Um, but yeah, he's really a great writer. He's one of my favorite recent writers. I'll say that. And Venom One is must have. They're already doing a second printing of it. I don't know if it'll be easy to find a first printing of it, but uh, yeah, it was fantastic, and I highly recommend it. And I just want to thank everyone that's watched. Thank you very much for watching, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube. Um, I appreciate it greatly. And I'm Hoarder Gamer. Thank you. Bye-bye.